Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Rosal and this channel focuses on life on the ground in Jerusalem and Israel. I've made a concerted effort recently to improve the focus of this YouTube channel. For the most part, I no longer post tech videos and tutorials here as I figured that people interested in Israel don't necessarily care about these topics as well. However, I'm making an exception today because this does have to do with Israel and it's about a pretty basic networking topic. Yesterday, somebody posted in a social media forum asking how they could set up a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network to manage some smart appliances. People told her to contact basic support. But this is really something that can be done in a DIY fashion without needing to wait to speak to an impatient ISP support rep. So I figured I'd do a little video showing how to manage the interface of a basic issued router. Accessing your router's web interface is useful for a few reasons. You can change the settings of your Wi-Fi network, configure static IP leases to help manage your local network, and configure port forwarding to do some more advanced stuff like running web servers or internet accessible servers out of your home. There's way more stuff that you can do but those are just some of the basics. However, in Israel, as in other countries, the majority of people simply want the basics and are happy to let tech support take care of the rest. So for that reason, Bezik have rolled out an application called B, which is how they want customers to manage simple router functions like changing network passwords. Unfortunately, this application is also extremely restrictive and locks away the vast majority of functionality contained in the routers they issue. Fortunately, it's not very difficult to access the actual router interface. The advantages of doing this is that you can access all the functions available in the router and you can do so from a computer and not only from Bezik's smartphone app. Step one is to find your Bezik router. That's the box they put in that connects you to the internet. Flip the router over and check out the underside of the box. Whether you have fiber or DSL you'll see a sticker that looks a bit like this. The sticker contains the router's local IP address and the device's serial number. Note these down or take a photo of that sticker. Your next step is to connect to the router by entering that local IP address into a web browser like Google Chrome. Just type in the address and hit enter. You'll then be presented with a web page that looks like this. You'll need to enter the last six digits of the serial number found on the bottom of the device. And that's basically it. Once you've completed those steps, you can access a much more complete set of controls for your Bezik issued router. To access the advanced settings page, you will need to complete a CAPTCHA verification form, but there you can find pretty much all the features. Some of the things that you can do here include changing your DNS servers from the Bezik ones over to OpenDNS or Google DNS for faster DNS resolution or to configure free internet filtering using OpenDNS. You can configure static IP leases to devices on your network so that the local IP addresses don't periodically change. You can set up port forwarding and do other things to make more of your home network. You can also control the Wi-Fi networks, your Bezik router broadcasts, or you can turn them off entirely if you want to use third-party access points or mesh network systems for wireless connectivity. I hope this video is helpful, and if you want to get more videos from me, then do please consider liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel.